Dwayne, thank you so much for doing this. You you got your green on. You get a, you, you get that jacket, and you're going to be ready to go, I, my I guy. I want this for you. I just want to let you know that I knew how to set look, so I just wanted to coordinate. Well, I, hi, that's <laughs> next that's next level type stuff. That's what you've been a star for a lot of years. I'm uh, I'm not I'm not going to even try to keep up. You've been here before, right? This is this is a return you return engagement, right? This is my third year in a row. Josh Allen just said he came the one year, and now he's been like five times favorite week of the year. You've been on the biggest stages in the world. Yes. What's this stage like? How do you explain it to people who have not experienced it, what Augusta National is like? Well, first of all, you, you have to go out on a golf course and try to play the game to understand the greatness of this weekend. Mm -hmm. This is one of the hardest things I've ever tried to do in my life, <laughs> is hit a ball that is not moving. Right? <laughs> right. It's so frustrating. Um, and so once you understand the game of golf, mm -hmm. you get a better appreciation for these athletes out here, mm -hmm. what they go through. I mean, today is a beautiful day, but We've been out here and it's been freezing, watching these guys try to go out there and accomplish something great. So it's amazing to be here. My dad and I have been here the last two years together and just enjoying a sport that we've picked up later in our life together. So it's been great. Victor Hovland here, our leader. You see, well, two putt, it would appear for, uh, for par. I, I was the same way. I grew up playing basketball and baseball, and golf was something that, I mean, I was not a obviously at your level I was a good athlete I figured the ball's not moving how hard could it be exactly and all you have to do is hit that one good six iron and you're like all right I'm, I'm good I've got this right and then you hit one off the hosel you hit one sideways and it's like what is this but there's all you need is that one right and then it just it's like the cliche it pulls you back in has that been your experience with the game it has uh, the great Don Cheeto I had a conversation with him he said hey man you like you like golf mm -hmm. I said yeah I'm really getting into it he said stop right now <laughs> He said, see, see Don so far, he's way down the road. He's way he got, down the road. Yeah, he I thought he was about to bad. give me some good advice uh -huh. as a beginner. He said, stop right, right now because it's going to ruin your life. Right. And um, I try, I've try. i tried not to allow it to ruin my life because mm -hmm. I understand I haven't put the work in. But, you know, it's to, to be 41 years old and to, be, and to have a challenge, to be able to come out here and be challenged and learn something new at this age, when you think you're an athlete who can just get out there and pick anything up, mm -hmm. this is the most humbling place to be. Right. But the mo one of the most beautiful places for anybody that's not here, the Masters, I would love to get to become friends with you know the people who own this place because yeah. I would love to do my wife and I wedding here. Uh, I think <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know that I don't know if they're available for banquets and weddings and things of that nature. But I mean, when you're a Hall of Famer, you might be afforded a, a bit more latitude. Uh, we have Shoffley here, Xander Shoffley, looking for birdie after a beautiful tee shot, and he pours that in. So Shoffley gets one closer to the man he's playing alongside, uh, Victor Hovland. Uh, that was the guy I thought might have a great chance this week. He's been close. Uh, I, I wonder just with the next guy that we'll see on 12 in just a moment here. This is uh, Justin Thomas uh, playing. I, I, I'm interested in a guy who's a Hall of Famer like you uh, and, and Tiger. And I asked Josh the same thing I'll ask you. I think the best athletes make us feel right, particularly like the finals, like the, what you all go through. And, and seeing that moment of, of triumph is, is unbelievable. And one of my favorite things in this job is getting a chance to talk to people after they've had that. And I've got to sit with Tiger for years talking after major, major championship wins. When you watch him, what is, the, what is a guy like him and the greatness he's achieved make you, who could understand it on a level I couldn't feel? Well, I think when we all watch Tiger, um, you, you feel hope every time we see him with a golf club in his hand on the green, we all think he can, he can win. We we know we all feel like he's going to be perfect out there. He just give us hope and everything he's been through in life. That's an amazing, oh my. amazing second oh my. there on 13. Chris Kirk, <laughs> a knowing smile. That that would have been quite something had it gone in. I mean, that's an that's an amazing shot. That's like, look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> and. So we watch Cameron Young play from the Pine Straw here. He got off to a just a spectacular start with birdies on his first three holes. Wow, that was pretty ambitious Ooh. there. Ooh. On Stay up. 11. Please. It does just now that. Driving. Scotty, and now we get live to the first tee where we have our reigning champion. I'm going to get back to the, 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 the Tiger vibe that you're familiar with in a moment. But now Scotty Scheffler. And Dwayne, this is really interesting. I've, I've been lucky enough to come here for a lot of years and you see people win the Masters. It can change your life because you get that one, right? And now you're on a whole different level. You can say yes to a lot of things that yes. change your focus. This guy, nothing's different. 
that's really unusual in sports, isn't it? To maintain the level of humility and sort of the same station when you could go to a different level if you chose to. Yeah, to maintain that, that level of focus, that, that level of hunger. Mm -hmm. um, the attention to detail in this sport is, um, you know, if you, you let your mind go anywhere while you're out here, you're gone for the rest of the day. And so to see Scotty's Four rise plays. over now this driving. last year plus mm -hmm. has been incredible, man. I mean, he hadn't even had not won on tour prior to last spring, and then it was like the the dam burst, and he just absolutely exploded onto the tour. Max Homa is a story, and I don't, I don't know how well you know it, but Max he was very open and shared with people the difficulties he had in, in belief, struggled to really believe he was worthy, struggled to find the game, and then he's broken through and won in some big time events, and now he's top five in the world, and I feel like he as much as anybody is a story. That people could relate to the idea of maintaining belief in self. Yes. Because if you don't believe in you, who's gonna? Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. That's my message all the time. You know, one of the great things about golf right now is is uh, full swing has given me an opportunity and other fans' opportunity to get a chance to know these individuals and so to see the relationships of of Max or to see the relationships of of Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth and seeing how all these guys are so competitive, how they grew up together, mm -hmm. but how the competition, you know, really drives a, a wedge between them sometimes. Now I'm trying to think of a basketball analogy. This is an amateur. He won the U.S. Amateur at Sam Bennett. And you get to play alongside Homa and the reigning champ. This would be like if you went to pick up and it's like, all right, there's LeBron and D. Wade and you play in college and all right, we need another. You, you want to run with us? How, how do you find how do you find the calm and the belief? And there's a swing right there that tells us he's ready to go. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, you got to be ready for anything. And so uh, this is going to be cool to see how he responds, you know, for the, for the entire time he's out here. You just got to be ready. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.